the new season of Battlegrounds is almost here as most of you probably already know. In this video, I'm going to predict how good I think all of the new cards will be and also predict how good dragons and beasts will be because those two tribes got a massive massive rework. Hope you enjoy. The positioning is going to be 6-3. So you want the 6-3 first and then you want the 2-3. And then you want the Amber Guardian. And then you want the Promo Drake. And then you want the Amber Guardian. Oh, no, no, no. And then you want the... And then you want the 2-3. And then you want the Promo Drake. And then you want the... You're long, right? Does that seem good? Who gets taunted? This has taunt. So this will be, this will scale plus 24, plus 24 per turn. This will scale plus 24, plus 24 per turn. And this will be golden as well. So this will give like a million attack. Like this will, like when this dies, it'll, it'll, like your, your board will have plus 100 attack permanently once this dies. Like the first, the very first turn. And then it'll be 200. And then it'll be 300. So soon your bo whole board will be like plus. Soon your whole board will be like a thousand attack. Everything. Like everything will be a thousand attack. Shielded. Every Soon everything will be a thousand attack and shielded. Because of uh, the 6-3. No, what about HP? Well, the promo, the promos you see, they give like 24, 24 per turn to your whole board. Like you have two of these. You have like two Sly Raptors. All right, let's see the other cards. I'm, I'm a bit skeptical. Whenever another friendly beast takes damage, gain plus one, plus two health permanently. Only health? How do you get attacked? Deal one to all, to your minions and give them one HP. Deal one. Make your lowest. Wait, that's a dragon. Wait, that's all? Dude, where's like the giga scaling card? Where's the whenever this takes damage, give your board plus four attack permanently. Dude, like let's say you have this th this lasher card. How do you give it attack? Like, it's a six a million, sure, but how do you give it attack? Like, if this card can never gain attack, it's always going to be complete trash. They think this is a downside. If you really don't want to deal one damage to your minions, you just put it last. Okay, so this is five stars. But, like, not because of beef. Okay, the main issue with this comp, the comp isn't that bad, guys. The main issue with the comp is you can't give attack on your carry. So you're never going to be, it's like, remember KT Morose, where Morose just gave plus one, plus five, and your whole board is like a battle master? That's this comp. Like, you're never going to have attack on your Lasher, so you just lose the game. So, so my rating is going to be once, like, my, this is one star, this is one star, this is one star, and this is five stars because of other stuff, not beasts. Golden's still in the game, but Slamma is not. Slamma and Chicken are both not, so that comp is dead. That comp is dead. I mean, Untamable is going to be pretty broken for Max, probably. If you can scale it, but... Beasts are dead. This is the new F tier tribe, guys. Don't play this tribe. I don't know, this mechanic seems kind of weird. Like, even, even if you triple it and put it onto a mech... Like, let's say you triple into a Foe Reaper, right? Let's say you triple into a Foe Reaper and then you roll into this 4-3 Wind Fury thing. Like, are you gonna buy it? No, right? Like, how are you gonna consistently roll into the Magnetic module? Like, are you really gonna buy this Wind Fury module after you triple into a Foe Reaper? Like, I don't think so. Like, you can't triple it consistently. And you have to triple it. 
Magnate, good if you want to stealth on your beatboxer, but that's the thing, it's not. Because it doesn't have magnetic. Like, let's say you want to stealth on the beatboxer, you buy the stealth module for 3 gold, and then you can't even magnetize it until you triple it with the magnetic module, which is not guaranteed to hit. So I feel like this mechanic is just troll. Like, even if you triple the stealth module, it's like most of the time not gonna have magnetic. I mean, that's how I view it. I might be wrong, but that's how I view it. It's not bad stats. I mean, if you're using this for tempo, then it's like, whatever. Like, you, like it's just a tempo stick. Like, whatever. Like, we're talking about the potential. Is Scrap Scraper the only, uh, the only magnetic generation? Oh, wait, they removed Kangor, so Scrap Scraper got a lot worse. Nope, mechs are still fucked. Mechs are, mechs are trash. At one star. Like, all of these, one star. I don't care. One star. Alright, let's give a quick summary of everything that I think, everything I think about the patch, okay? So, I think that Moon Eater is going to be unplayable always. Rayman is going to be a solid card if you triple into it and you have Elise. Like, Elise is going to be the key enabler for the Greymane comp. And then, uh, Fire Dancer is good to enable self damage stuff. Pokey is, like, interesting. I think it's too slow most of the time, but it has high potential if you're playing Cold Wars. I don't know what's up with the module stuff, but it doesn't seem to be helping mechs. I think Sarina is going to be really good in a Menagerie or a mech setup. This card is going to carry mechs for sure. Um, I think this Nightbane card is insane. This Nightbane card is insane. But the Nightbane card... Okay, beasts are just trash. Just ignore this tribe. Just ignore the whole tribe. If you roll into the Skyblaver or the Lasher, just pretend it's minus one shot slot. Dragon, so the dragon comp is going to be Yu Long, Poet Poet, Promo Drake, Promo Drake, Amber Guardian, and Nightbane. And that comp is going to be S tier. I think this is gonna be a really, really strong comp. Okay. Um Elementals are going to be insane. It's usually enabled by the Felblood. I think I think the tribe will be enabled by Felblood. And then, I guess Feldrake being gone is a big deal, but Shell and Mental is a, is a really good card to replace it. Like, this card is insane. Um, these are whatever. I think Draconic Death Scale is also a 5 star. I think this card is, is, like, Disco Shuffler used to be a good card, and this is Disco Shuffler on steroids. Murlocs or whatever. And this is Boom Squad 2.0, aka Trash. Best card? Uh, best card is probably... I mean, there's a lot of really strong cards. Like, Nightbane is extremely strong. Rampager is extremely strong. I think Felblood is extremely strong, but... Oh yeah, I forgot. Ramter is definitely 5 stars. Like, it's insane tempo and an insane enabler. I think it's between... I think it's between Nightbane and Felblood. But like, I could see the Nagas being like, game-breaking as well. What do you guys think? 